Okay, phone on mute, leave it. Do not disturb. I just put do not, I just put airplane mode. Perfect. You know I'm turning okay, around. last turn time around. we start the Shara Bitachon and the Rav explained to us, we are in the introduction now, in the Akdama. What is the definition, the definition? Definition. Definition of Bitachon. What is the definition of bitachon? It's knowing. The Rav says, Menucha Tanefesh. That is bitachon. When a person feels Menucha Tanefesh, it means one of two. Or he's a normal guy with bitachon, or he's a crazy person. It's one of two. It's that, you know, in, in Morocco, you know this, you hear this from your father, you know? Yeah. In Morocco, in uh, the. Jewish Arab Arabic they say Habel Terbah. Know what is mean Habel Terbah? Know what is mean Habal? Habal it's a Habal. It's Habel. It's crazy. Terbah always is happy. The crazy guy is always happy. Why? Because he doesn't have any worries. It means or you crazy or you Baal Bitachon. That is the only way to be. Bemenuchat anefesh with menuchat anefesh, and this book, the Shara Bitachon, it's also what's easier wonder. to become crazier to do the Balikar? I tell you, if you don't work on your Bitachon anyway, you become crazy. <laughs> 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 that will be happening in the end. That's why the Rav said we need to work on our Bitachon, and the Rav said it's not only you know a best way to live, no. It's an obligation. Sometimes people think to be Baal Bitachon, it's optional. It's if I want to have Bitachon, that is the best. But if I want to live, you know, with a lot of stress, it's my choice. It's my choice to live with stress. But we know it's Chova. According to lot Poskim, a lot Rishonim, they say the Midata Bitachon, it's obligation and we have different opinion in the Rishonim from where we learn the obligation of Midata Bitachon. Alat Rishonim say the Bitachon, it's a mitzvah of Anochi Hashem Elokecha. That is the mitzvah of Bitachon. What does it mean Anochi Hashem Elokecha? I'm in charge. And when a person know that, that it's only Hashem in charge of everything on you, in your life, now you have bitachon because you know it's not a matter if I run more hours, more strong, if I work more hours, if I push more pressure. It's nothing depend to this. Like somebody told me not today, I talked to him before about bitachon. He heard something from Abi Nachman that what he said. I asked him about his business and he said, I learned something important. When you go to work, you need to took yourself from the result. And you need to know your obligation, it's only to do Ishtadlut. Leave the result to Hashem Barach. What happened? A lot of people, they start the Ishtadlut, but they want to see the result immediately. And that's why they continue to push, 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 more phones, anger, anger, cars, atzabim, lachats, pressure. And that's why, because they think it depends to me. And I need to put more pressure to get the result. But to tell you that is the truth. Your obligation is to do the Ishtadlut. You call somebody, you do Ishtadlut, leave it to Hashem. I, but I don't see the result. No worry. Hashem has a lot of way how to send to you the Beracha. Maybe the Beracha is from the completely other side. It's not from here. People, I heard this yesterday. And one guy has also in Eretz Israel a business. And... He told me I was know that I have a problem there in the business, but you know, he don't call the bank till the bank call him. <laughs> and he <laughs> walked here, but he told her, huh? <laughs> and he say in this week, he has a very quiet week. It means nothing happened to him. And he said, Hashem, I need, you know, I need. What happened yesterday? Someone called him from Eretz Israel and he told, he told him, you know, 
what you have in your bank. I take care about everything. I pay everything anyway. And they have also extra payment because you don't pay three months ago. I pay everything. No worry about this. And he say, Hashem, I don't know, but I understand something. I work hard here and there somebody do for me the job. Not me even. It's mean you don't know from where Hashem, Be'ad Hashem will send you the Beracha. I don't know if you know and if you see what this picture one time, you see the picture of the guy who fish, he is fishing and he has the basket when he put the fish after he fish in his face facing to this side and he feel you know he tried to cut some fish and the fish jump from the back to the basket what is mean you do the ishtadut from this side but you don't know from where hashem sent to you the beracha i know what this guy do he took this picture he changed the face of the guy put his face and he put us in in, the, in his office and this picture in his office to remember him all way all second every time it's not me i have a phone call i try to do my best okay that's it Hashem. when i finish my ishtadlut my obligation now it's not me it's you i leave it to you Hashem. and the rav says to be a real oved Hashem. if the person want to be Real Oved Hashem, it cannot be Oved Hashem without Bitachon and Emuna. And the Rav start to explain why. And not only this, we learned last week that the person need to have this feeling of security. Bitachon, it means security. Bitachon, to be secure. And this need to feel secure it's a basic human being needs like a person has a need to eat like a person has a need to sleep the person has a need to feel secure but more from the physical needs this need to feel secure it's a basic human being needs and everybody in this world has this needs and everybody looking to feel secure but the question is on who you rely rely nishan nishan it means rely yeah? yeah if you rely on your business your father your insurance company your father-in-law he said last week everybody has somebody he rely on him or you rely on Hashem Barach. It's me. Anyway, you need to feel this security. Now you need to find a way how to fill up. Fill up, we yeah. a lot. Fill up this need. And we have a lot of ways. People feel this by putting a lot of cameras to know. You see people every second they check the camera of the house, the backyard. <laughs> Why? Because they need to feel this security. So, so they don't sleep. understand that is the whole idea so sleeping eating you can't say oh no maybe also the same idea you can't say oh, no, you say it's my father my mother that is the test right but, but for sleeping and eating you can't say hashem is gonna is the one eating for me because he's not eating for you you sure. have to eat if you sure. don't eat you don't live yeah you don't sleep you but don't in this also up. you need to have a muna. why oh. because you know people they want to eat, but they cannot eat. Okay. You know, the, I say that a lot of times. You know, in Eretz Israel, you have a big, big, big bank. A poalim. You know, this bank, it says, uh, who is the owner? Sherry Harrison. She is the daughter of Ted Harrison. You hear about Ted Harrison? Carnival Cruzler. Carnival uh, Cruzler. Yeah. He's a billionaire. Yeah, take a social Ah? Huh? and this guy this guy yeah he has a rayon interview in Eret israel one day to some guys called dan shilon somebody told me and in this time he's very sick he cannot eat nothing only liquids and he asked him dan shilon asked him what you wish to you say 
he say, I accept to give all my fortune to eat a piece of steak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you believe that? Good he man. has the all biggest cruise in the world, the all Tavo, the all biggest chef in the world. He has. He paid them to feed people, but he cannot eat. Why? Because he's a sick. He's sick. He was sick. You know the owner of Ma'afiat Angel in Eretz Israel, he has a problem to eat celiac. 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 Yeah. He cannot eat celiac. He feeds millions of people every day with rogalach, borekas, the all good stuff, and he cannot eat. What do you think that is? You know what it means? It's when Hashem say, it's me. Even to eat, you need me. Don't think to eat. Stop. You can to decide when you, I want, when. No, no, no. Even to eat, we need Siata Dishmaya. And that uh, Rabbi Yankale Galinsky, Zechel Tzadik Livracha, he explained the famous Gemara, what is mean Ktane Amana, when a person is leader in Emunah. And the Gemara said, <coughs> if you have what to eat today, and you worry about the next day. And Rabbi, Rabbi Yaakov Kalitsky he says, the famous mistake is, people think, what is the problem with this guy? If you have for today, why you worry for the future? Leave it to Hashem. Who tell you you stay to the future, to the next day? Who tell you? This morning, Ba'avonot Arabim, a young boy, go to the yeshiva, and Hashem is more. Hashem Yerachem. Nobody knows. Nobody give you insurance. Nobody tell you you stay for tomorrow also. That's what usually we understand. The Rav say it's not what the Gemara want to say. It's not what the Gemara want to teach us. You know what? What is the problem with this guy? It's not about the future. The problem with this guy it because he think if I have for today, I don't need a shell for today. He worry only about the next day. And for today, you don't worry. Ah, that is Katnu Temuna. Because you think if I have, it's okay. I think if I have in my account this and this amount, I'm okay. Who tell you you're okay? Ah, you know why? Because you rely on your money. That is Katnu Tamana. What's Katnu Amana? Little by Emuna, in Emuna. Small Emuna. It's small in Emuna. That is Katan. Why? Because the Baal Emuna no, it's not a matter if I have or I don't have. It's the opposite. The biggest Sadiqim, they emptied out their pockets. Why? They because they don't night. want to depend to yeah. nothing, only to Hashem Barach. They wouldn't go to sleep. You know, the, 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 the Not all only the this, all the, all, the all the big Sadiqim. All the big Sadiqim. Rabbi, 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 Rabbi Yosef Zev Salovechi, Rabbi Yitzchak Zev Salovechi, he has a kolel, and he need to pay every month the Olav Rechi. And a lot of time, you know, Big Virim came to him, Rabbi, we want to give you checks for the olives. He said, never, every month I want to see the Yeshua of Hashem Yitzchak. In Erev Rosh Chodesh, when he need to pay, and he doesn't have even one penny. See, go to the, where he go to pray, to the Echal Hashem. I have my I have rechim. I need to pay them. Send me the Yeshua, and he say every month. Another way. He saw the end of Hashem it Barach, and that bring him a lot Yeshua and Beracha. And that is the famous story of Rabbi Yaakov Galinsky. He bring about a guy, an old man, and he sell bagels, kaachim. The time of you know in Europe, it's not a young person, seventy and maybe more. Every morning he see he stand outside with his basket, the old bagels, and screaming, bagels, add bagels, add bagels. One guy passed by him. He feel bad for this guy. Old person, sell bagels. What he make from this? He ask him, Tell me, let me know, Tzadik, how much you make every day? He tell him. And in the week, tell him, he said, you know what? I have a deal. I give you the all salary, what you make every week. And you sit in the Beta Knesset, retail him. I give you names. That's what I want. For me, it's good. For you, it's good. You okay? He said, yes. Bracha and Mazad, he shake the hand. And he start the first week, Baruch Hashem. Every morning after the tefillah, I go to eat some breakfast. 
go to the Beta Knesset, finish the Tehilim, Ayid al Mishnayot. In the end of the week, this guy came to him, gave him the payment, the salary, and he said, That's it. I'm thankful for what you give me, but next week I return back to my class, my spot in the street. Why? That, was, that is my decision. But you shake the hand. You decide, we, we decide. He said, I'm sorry if you have a problem. Took me to the rabbi. And I explained to the rabbi why. Okay, go with him to the rabbi. And the rabbi asked him why. He wants to give you a salary. And you see it, you learn, you read Tehillim. But it's better from this. Why are you looking to stay in the street, in the cold, in the hot? Why? He said, Rabbi, you need to understand. From this second, when he told tell me sit in the Beta Knesset, I try to I start to feel that I lost my connection with Hashem it Because he's relying on He this said, guy. why? Hear what he said. He said, Rabbi, you need to understand my day. When I stand outside and I ask people to buy, you know, people pass by me. And not everybody stop. And I lift my eyes to Hashem Barach, Hashem, and I talk to him. Please give to this guy the ratzon, the will to buy for me something. And suddenly somebody come to buy, came to buy. And I say, Hashem, thank you so much. And the whole day I talk to Hashem. I ask and I get Baruch Hashem an answer and I thank him. The whole day and every day I feel myself by emunah, by odaa, by talking to Hashem Baruch. But Rabbi, from this day, when I sit in the Beta Knesset, I know anyway I have my salary in the end of the week. I read Tehillim, but without art. I don't have the same feeling. And the Rabbi says he's right. Let him stay outside and sell his bagels. It's mean Rabotai Karim. When you feel you depend to, on Hashem Barach, you need His help. You pray to get what you need. That is the best time. You know, one guy for me explained to me a famous, <coughs> famous Gemara. <coughs> the Gemara says, "Kashe zivugo shel adam kikriat yamsuf." Why? What is kashe to Hashem Barach? Something it's hard for Hashem. What does it mean, kashe? And I don't know if you know Portal from the... He prayed by the Rabbi Spiegel, by the Stieber. He told me from the name of his son, Sheebari. We find in the Torah another place that Hashem say kashe. When? That's what he said, no? That we said, kashe, kekriat yamsu, but another place. We say that the, the same one. He say in Shemini Atzeret, in the last day of Sukkot, what Hashem say? Kasha alai predasre. It's hard for me to detach myself from you. What does it mean? What does it mean, kasha alai? Now what does it mean? Everybody understand. The all yamim noraim, starting by Selichot, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Aseret Yemet Shuvah, Sukkot. That is the best days. And Hashem say, yeah, I know. Now the winter starts and everybody run to his business. It's not the same. It's not the same closeness with Hashem. It's out for me. Hashem? Hashem say, it's out for me to yeah. feel this separation. And he explained from this why also it's Kashe de Zivu. He say, when a person wants to be married, how many philot he pray? How many, you know, tachanunim? Hashem, please, Hashem, please. But after? Quiet. That's it. I, I, I get what I want. I That's what Hashem opposite. said. I think once you get married, you're so busy davening that it should be good and that you should have kids. <laughs> yeah, but, you but usually, kids, but you yeah. know, usually <laughs> people, Usually, the, the usually it's not always out. like this. That's why Hashem said, and from here we learn a big idea. If you continue to have this Kesher with Hashem, you don't need problem in your life. Because Hashem said, anyway, he keep the Kesher. He keep the connection. 
That's what Hashem said. I don't want to lose the connection. I want to have the kesher with you. And that Rabotai, carry what the Rav said, but what it's very important to know. Because the Rav said, anyway, like we said in the beginning, we need to have the security, yes? Mm -hmm. But now if you don't rely on Hashem, you rely on something else. And the problem is when you relied on something else, Hashem took the Ashgacha Pratit from you. And Hashem let you to be depend to the person or to who you relied on him. And that's why you can to see that and everybody can to say the same. When you rely on something, always you get a lot, a lot of disappointment from this thing. Somebody promised to you something, almost always, you, you, after in the end, you have a big disappointment from this. Why? You know why? Because you have a bitachon on the guy. You have bitachon on this. And Hashem wants to show you it's not this. It's not him. It's me. Please rely on me. So why do tzaddikim prom why do they promise things to people? You need to know even in the tzaddikim, the Rav say that also here. If the tzaddik give to the person a feeling, it's you don't need to be worried. Rely on me. The guy feel a lot achzava, a lot disappointment from this, mm. and it's not happen in the end. The tzaddikim also give to the person the feeling it's not me, it's me and you together. And Hashem Itbarach, He will, who is send the Yeshua. We know a, sto a big story about tzaddikim that a one tzaddik is sister came to him for something very very important the son of this sister is very very sick he was very sick and she come and she knock on the the door of the house of the rebbe and she asked the guy please please it's emergency it's pikuach nefesh okay he ran to the rebbe he said rebbe your sister it's your nephew he said don't not open don't open the door okay but you don't understand what is me and she continued to knock and and cry, please, please, it's a very critical situation. The rabbi said, don't open. And she said, but it's my brother, please. She thinks that it's the rabbi. He don't uh, let her to come in. And the rabbi said, I'm sorry, but I cannot. You don't want to say it's the rabbi, but he said, I cannot. And after, you know, few nisyonot, she tried to, to come in, to go inside. She said, I don't care. I go to pray to Hashem Barach. I don't need my brother. In this second, the rabbi tell to the rabbi, run after her and bring her, please. Bring her in. And once she come in, she say, what happened? He say, you know, when you come to me and I feel you rely on me, I know in this way I cannot bring Yeshua for you. But when you get it's not me, it's Hashem. Now together we pray that not Hashem will bring the Yeshua. Even with tzaddikim, it's the same problem. If you think it's the tzaddik, no. That way when you go to the tzaddik, what the tzaddik, usually the big tzaddikim say, do that, do that, talk upon yourself this. Why? Because the tzaddik wants to show to the person, it's not me, you do a mitzvah, you took some good kabbalah, good decision on yourself. That brings the Yeshua. Surely the tzaddik, he, you know, if from east side you told us last week that if you want to if you don't want to get any um if you don't want to have tzara then you should be close to a tzaddik because then hashem won't sure so it's the same thing but here so i know the tzaddik's closer to hashem than yeah, i am so but, if he gives me a tafa then i'm good no no but you well, need to know it's not because the tzaddik it's not because him it's because hashem, he's hashem. He's only the pie mm -hmm. even in the alachot in rosh hashanah the shukhan Aur say when you go to a tzaddik in the tzion of a tzaddik it's a suit to say please tzaddik help me it's Hashem, help me be schut from the merit of the tzaddik. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, please, the tzaddik, if you go, if you can, go to Hashem and pray for me. Mm -hmm. That is the way I would to pray. But Kivar Tzaddikim, in a way, is actually more a muna because you're not, you're not talking to somebody. It's as a Kivar. So yeah, but is not you saying, believe yes, who? Do this, this. You believe who? Yeah, yeah. It's hard to talk to a soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you're right. Yeah, you right. Way, it, it could be a bigger chizuk. <laughs> no. Amen. Amen. But when you go to the tzaddik, you know, yeah. I connect myself to Hashem, and yeah. the tzaddik yeah. is my tzinor, it's my kesher, it's my metavech. Yeah. Mediator. Yeah. Yeah. 
ואם מבטח על חוכמתו, now we continue a small paragraph of today, that is the new ones, חכם משה, ואם מבטח על חוכמתו, ואם מבטח על חוכמתו, if the person is relied and is secure in his חוכמה ותחבולותיו, and the all you know trick he know וכוח גופו, even his physical power והשתדלותו, and the all his השתדלות, his effort, he got a rick. Hashem say, go, go, run, run very fast, but you don't see any result in the end. ויחלש כוחו. And he became weak, ותקצר תחבולתו, and he started to lose his ideas, even he has a lot of ideas מהסיק חפצו, he cannot reach what he wants, כמו שאמר הכתוב, לוקט חכמים בעורמם, you know how Hashem catch the חכמים, the smart people, from the חוכמה. I, I tell you a story, in Eretz Israel, few years ago, they have a very famous, famous billionaire, his name is Nuchi Dunkner. This guy has the biggest company in Eretz Israel, Selkum, Supersal, ADB, big, it's a big concern. How do you say concern? Consortium. 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 He has a big consortium. It's called ADB. He has a lot, a lot of in this big uh, consortium. And he's a very, very, Baruch Hashem, wealthy guy. And one day, they ask him, some guy ask him, how you make all your fortune? It's not a riches, it's a fortune. He's a big, big billionaire. And he say, I tell you the truth. It's 95 mazal, chance, and 5% sechel. And if it depends to me, I change the, the 5% also by mazal. What happened to this guy in the end? You know what happened to this guy? He's sitting in a jail. Okay. What happened? The, this big consortium, you say, start to lose the value. the value. And he's in the market, in the stock. And because he wants to keep the value the high, high like. the stock high, he start to buy by himself and sell. Buy, it's me, in Eretz Israel, it's called Haratzat Menayot. Yeah, yeah. Trading, oh, and that now. is federal. It's federal. Yeah. yeah. And because that is sitting in a jail. He lost all his uh, fortune. He's wow. sitting in a jail. What is me? When he start to use his knowledge how to keep his fortune, that bring him to the jail. That's what Hashem said to the wow. person. You need to be very careful. Because when you rely on you smart, on you chokman, you knowledge, you need to know. That, in the end, bring you to the very, very bad place. Why Hashem do that? You know why? To show the person it's not your chokhmah. It's not your wisdom. Kemo she'amar ha'katu, Shlomo ha'melech se'idai. No, that says Iyob. No, no, that is Shlomo ha'melech. לוקט חכמים בעורמם איוב, ואמר שבתי וראות אחת השם, ושלמה המלך סייד, I looking under the sun, כי לא לקלים המרוץ, not every time when you, you have a, איך אתה אומר, רץ, ראנרס, not always, not in on, the marathon is not only to the runners, ולא לגיבורים המלחמה, not always if you strong, you win the war. וגם לא לחכמים לחם. Like I say, everybody, you know, you, he told me, I have an advisor in a bank. I told him, I don't want to understand. This advisor, if he's so smart, why he work for you? Why he not work for, for himself? Why is, he's not a billionaire if he's so smart? You every know business what? coach also, every business coach doesn't have a business, but they tell us how to do it. Why that? You know why? Shlomo Amir says, it's not because he's not smart. It's not because what he tells you, it's not a good idea. It's the best idea. So you know what is the problem? Because Hashem prevent him to have beracha, to be successful, because he wants to show him it's not you, Chochmah. And one guy told me this in my shul. He told me, I can't to tell you, I'm the proof. That the beracha, it's not depend if you're smart or not. <laughs> I, and I, I told him, he knows I, uh, he told him, I asked him, why you say that? And he told me, I tell you why. 
ברוך השם, I have a large family, brothers and sisters. Everybody of them, they have his degrees. He's a doctor, this is a lawyer, is... but in the end, I'm the rich of the family. And everybody ask me where to invest the money. And I know, like they know, it's not because I'm more smart of the, from them. They're very smart. But still, the beracha is in my Baruch Hashem end. Why? Because Hashem gave me the beracha. That he told me, I'm the proof that this the beracha is not depending on your chokhmah. In your chokhmah. ואמר כפירים רשו ורעבו ודורשי השם לא יחסרו כל טוב. If you looking in the creation you find something amazing. More the, the creator, the beria, she is strong, she is more juggling to find the beria, the parnasa. Look, the lions. That is the strong animal, yeah? How hard it's for the lion to find parnasa. He ran, he tried to catch again and again. And look, the old creature, the small ant, she has parnasa everywhere. Why? Because the lion rely on himself. And Hashem say, run, run, son, run. Kefirim rashu, like we said in Birkat Amazon, Kefirim is the lion. Verahevu. And today in Barichish, tomorrow, Be'at Hashem, it's Rosh Chodesh, we say in Barichin Nafshi, what we say? Akefirim shoagim lataref. The kefirim is the lion, but the young lion, the strong ones, shoagim. You know what it means, shoagim? Ech ata omer shoagim, Chacham Shlomo? They scream, you know, when the lion scream. Thirsty, hungry. Roar, 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 roar. Akefirim shoagim, they roar lataref. But it's not, it's not help them. Ulvakesh me'elochla. But they ask for Hashem. You know what David HaMelech teach us? The lion think, if I roar, you know, now they all, animal, they worry, and I have parnasa. No, nothing happened. Till the point when the lion say to Hashem, please give me. The lion also pray to Hashem. That David HaMelech says. Ulvakesh me'el. They ask from, the, from God. Ochla, they food. Looking in the old creation. More you strong, more you need to juggle to, juggle to find new parnasa. Why? Because you rely on yourself. More you weak, it means anyway you depend on Hashem, you know that and you feel that, you get your parnasa in the easy way. Pele play. That the Rav say. That's why it's very important to try to channel these needs of security on Hashem Ibarach. Because more you depend to Hashem, more you see Beracha in your life. More you depend to somebody else or something else, you lost the Beracha. You lost the Ashgacha. You lost the Si'ata Dishmaya. It's Chabad. It's Chabad. It's Chabad because a lot of people, they have so much money, but they don't need they cannot enjoy, they don't enjoy from what they have. Problem of with the kids, problem with the wife, problem with the workers, problem with them, the government, a lot of problems. They, they, they don't enjoy what they have. They don't enjoy, they don't enjoy. Why? Because they rely on what they have, not on the Shemit Bach. It's me. To have the real Menuchat Nefesh is to try and to start to work on this Rabotai Karim need of security and to throw this need on Hashem Itbach like David HaMelech said Hashlech to Al Hashem Yavecha throw this need on Hashem Itbach and you know how it's starting Moshe mm. I tell you how when you have a deal and you call the guy one time and it's not happened say to yourself I don't call him back one day, one time a day, say Hashem, yeah, start by this. Say Hashem, I know it's you. I do my ishtadlut. I did my ishtadlut already. Every day continuing this way. And day by day, you feel more and more how you depend to Hashem. It barach. When the Baal Hashem... These guys are nearly behounded. That is the problem. You understand? You understand? You understand what I say? If you don't, if you don't no. call them... 